Hello, today I'm going to share how to create and add to a resource list. So first click on catalog and then from the sidebar choose resource lists. Now my list will show you previously created lists. I currently don't have very many because I don't get asked very often by teachers for resource lists. And usually I'll just pull it up in the catalog and print that. But occasionally I do like to have um, a list that I'll save for um, volunteers to um, pull books from. And so you can edit them here or delete them if you don't need them anymore. It'll show you the date that they're last updated and then whether you share it with the district or not. You can click view here or click on the link to open it up. So to add a new one, just click add list and then name it. And then if you want to share it with the district, you'll click this box here. You can write a description if you want and add teachers as co-owners so that they can actually have access to this list, but they do need a login of their own. So when you're ready, click save. You can view the list here and add to it um, library materials. You can click on websites and add websites to this list or other digital resources. You can scan barcodes into this list if you already have the books pulled, or you can search by author, subject, call number, previously made barcode list, ISBNs, or the dates that um, these copies and titles have been added to the catalog. As another way to add books is to go to the catalog itself, library search, and you can search for subject and then right here it says add to this list next to my books I'm going to make sure that my selected list is the one that I want to add to and then simply click the button and it will show you that it's now in this list if you um, don't want it in this list you can click on it and then remove right here so it's really simple. I'll go back to my search results. If there's, see, I've got 22 on this page, but not all of this is what I'm looking for. So I wouldn't want to add the entire page, just the ones that pertain to my list. So I would definitely would not add this one, <laughs> but I would add solids, liquids, and gases. And then this one, changing states of matter. And then keep scrolling and see just in case there's anything else. And there's not. Okay, so now I can find my different lists here if I need to, to change between them and search and add for those. And that's all. It's really easy.